Hello, my name is Father Jacob Rouse, and I am the pastor of Notre Dame Parish in Cresco, Iowa, and I would like to teach you how to party like a Catholic through penitence. Penitence is essentially getting right with God through prayer, almsgiving, and fasting. It's self-denial. It's Remember, it's saying this life and its pleasures are good, but they are not my final destination. Every act of penitence, prayer, almsgiving, and fasting are healthy and effective reminders that you are God and I am not. So, let's look at this here. This is called the Code of Canon Law, and it's quite a hefty tome. And uh, this basically lays out everything uh, that we're called to do. Let's see. I'm looking at canons. Where'd they go? Canons 1249 to 1253. Studied quite a bit of this in school. I'll link them down in the description, so don't worry about it. The penitential days and times in the universal church are every Friday of the whole year and the season of Lent. Abstinence from eating meat or some other food, according to the prescripts of the Conference of Bishops, is to be observed on every Friday. Uh-oh, not just during Lent, for the whole year. Uh, abstinence means prohibits the eating of meat, but eggs, milk products, and sauces made from animal fats may be eaten, as may fish and all other cold-blooded animals, like frogs or clams or turtles. So, enough of that right now. So, uh, why fish? Well, um, there's a fun story going around um, that centuries ago, some pope who was, uh, like, monetarily tied to some fisherman industries decided to, you know, help out his buddies and up the fish um, cons consumption and so that their fish sales would go well. Um, that's been found. That's not true. Um, it's a nice story. It would make a nice Dan Brown book maybe, but we're not going to worry about that. Um, goes back to Old Testament, um, Jewish dietary laws, and then even St. Paul in 1 Corinthians 15 talks about the different flesh. Um, also, just, I think, culturally, um, meat has been through the centuries, like actual flesh, like beef and um, chicken and pork, uh, very um, fine and exquisite dining, whereas fish, I think, is maybe cheaper. Maybe because Jesus did it and ate it all the time. Uh, there's a variety of reasons, but the point is, we're asked to do that. Um, I'd like to say this little flow chart here. Penitence, like I said, prayer, alms, and fasting. And then fasting can be made up of two ways, talking about act specifically abstinence, which means no meat. Well, you, you know what I just said before. That goes from age 14 till death, and that is every Friday, according to the canon. Um, if I'm interpreting that wrong, uh, someone please speak up. Email me. Uh, and then fasting is the time and the amount. So only one full meal, two light meals, and then no snacks. And that goes from age 18 to age 59. And that takes place. Abstinence and fasting, Ash Wednesday and Good Friday. Pause the screen right now and you can write that down. Okay, very good. Um, I had someone approach me. There's a lot of questions that we have about trying to follow the rules and trying to do all this. Uh, someone approached me and said, Father... My, I hate fish so much, but my husband loves it. Now, that's not very fair now, is it? And no, it's not really fair. I actually love fish as well, and I love meat. Um, I enjoy eating a lot of things. Uh, but the fact that we are called to do it as a group speaks volumes, and that's what the value is. So I believe that when we join together and fast and abstain from meat, we can restore the world to a sense of the presence of God and remind ourselves of the death and resurrection of Jesus. Um, it's I think of it as uh, think of it as like the war effort. Like in World War II, I remember learning in high school about how people had to give up aluminum and save aluminum, or not buy so much produce, or maybe um, if you ride alone, you ride with Hitler. Those kind of posters. So everyone contributing to the effort of personal conversion and converting the world as well. Uh, what about vegetarians or vegans, those who already practice abstinence from meat? Um, well, they may not necessarily practice the fasting lifestyle, so they're invited to that. Um, what about busy people? Sometimes I myself, Father Jacob, forget to, well, eat. You know, sometimes I'll just grab a bowl of 
rice and eggs or, or, or vegetables or something, and then I just don't for, I should forget to eat meat. Um, it's calling to mind, no matter what your lifestyle is, uh, that we're all doing this together. How about fish fries? Fish fries are fun. I remember growing up uh, eating three pieces of fried fish covered with tartar sauce. Uh, that kind of defeats the purpose as well. I mean, the fact that I'm not eating meat, but I can gorge myself on fish, that's not really healthy either. What about lobster? Well, same thing. I mean, it's a luxury food item. Um, so I think uh, a lot of interpretation is left up to your own personal conscience as well. What about the Impossible Burger from Burger King, I think? Um, that's a big one right now this year. And technically, you're not eating meat, but... I mean, it kind of defeats the purpose. The whole point is to fast and deny yourself. So if you taste, eat something that tastes just like it, you're not really, you know, causing the purpose. We don't want to be too literal. We don't want to be um, legalists. And we need to go with the spirit of the law rather than the letter of the law, which is what Jesus yelled at the hypocrites for. Um, interestingly enough, uh, what about when we're at someone else's house or when they're coming to our house? And that can be up to, I need, think it needs to be up to conscious as well in the, in the period. You don't want to be rude, obviously, but also you want to follow your own uh, Catholic faith. Um, for instance, this coming, th this past week I had a funeral and it was brought up, um, what do we serve the people? There's a lot of uh, non-Catholic uh, funeral guests and um, I decided to have only tuna salad served, um, no meat served, because if I was going to my friend's house, who a Jewish person who doesn't eat pork, or if I was going to my vegetarian person's friend's house, um, I would follow their rules, the rules that they eat. So if you want to party with us, you got to go down with us. Uh, why so many rules and laws? Ugh, why is there so much laws and rules that the Catholic Church makes me follow? Why can't we just love you know, like Jesus did. Well, uh, we do. I mean, love God and love your neighbor, that all comes through in these laws. But unfortunately, because we live in a um, fallen, complicated, detailed world, uh, we have to know these things. And there's different specifications and why these things happen. Uh, same way if I live in a house and the command is take out the garbage. Okay, that's easy enough. But I need to know where the garbage can is, where the garbage bags is, when I need to take the garbage out, when the garbage comes, on uh, what day of the week, and where on the curb to put it, and then how to put a bag back in, etc., etc. So with simple commands comes lots of details, just like basketball has a lot of rules, and you know we all obey the theory of gravity, but there's tons of physics equations that go along with that. Um, so I invite you uh, to party like a Catholic. Um, by doing that, uh, I'm sure the Chiefs fans this past uh, year, those who jumped on the bandwagon at the last minute, yeah, they enjoyed the Super Bowl, but those who've been with the Chiefs up and down through the years, finally getting that Super Bowl, uh, feels pretty good. So uh, when we go down with Christ into the valley of self-denial and trusting in God, we come up even greater uh, in the resurrection and celebrating Easter. I believe the liturgical life gives us such a happy and fulfilling uh, way to live. Um, it maps out human ups and downs and we all get to do it together. So uh, my name is Father Jacob Rouse. Uh, that's all I have to say. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. Today's a Saturday. Happy Lent. I just figured we'd get to 10 minutes on the video. All 
All right, 10 minutes. There you go. Bye.